how you can convert the Epson M1210 into a pigment based ink. So this device is out of the box. So as you can see here, okay, there's no ink yet. It's brand new, okay? Then I already bought the pigment. So if you ask what YK color, which is the uh, black, blue, magenta, and uh, I mean tian, black, tian, magenta, and yellow. This is the four colors we need to have to this printer. So, okay, let's start na. So, I use the syringe for the ink transfer for this one. So, okay. I'll open this box here. So let's start with the black. Be careful guys, do not um, get wrong about peeling the ink tank. Okay, make sure you have the corresponding colors. Okay, let's start with the black because it's the first one here. I'll get the black one. Then I'll open this black. You can see it here. It's black, as you can see in the camera, black, yellow, magenta, and yellow. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'll use the black first. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna start with the market now make sure you put black on the black color so you won't mess up your paper again this is Kuyi brand the pigment ink of Kuyi So guys, now we're done we're filling the ink tanks. Ink tanks, sorry. Uh, now we will power this on. Just connect your printer cable to the power. Don't yet put the USB cable on your computer, okay? So right now, we're powering up first. And this printer will take. Okay, just, let's just wait for. Now I'm going to charge this one. Now it's okay. You will see here that this ink icon is red, so we'll just press it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now, it's, now it will charge. Okay, let's just wait for it for a couple of minutes, maybe ten to fifteen minutes, so the ink will charge to the cartridge. Right? Okay, let's just wait for it. I'll fast forward it. Uh, I'll post. I'll fast forward this video when it's done. Okay. Hi guys. So now it's done. You can know it once the um, button stops blinking. So what you can do is to load an A4 here, then download the driver of Epson L1210. 
So I already downloaded it. Then just go to maintenance page, then print the nozzle head check. That's how we can see if there's no any clogs on our printer. So right now I'm printing it now. Just wait for it. So now it's done. As you can see here, there's no any um, what do we call that broken line so we're good okay this is uh, good already then I can check if this ink is already waterproof as you can see it's not um, going to shock what do we call that splat or what but as you can see it's waterproof okay I'll just put more water onto it Okay, this is an alcohol. As you can see, it's not paging, yeah. Paging, I mean page. As you can see, there's no page happening, okay? That's the advantage of pigment ink. So, next step is I was going to um, print on vinyl sticker. I'll use the glossy version so we can see if it's still uh, waterproof when it's printed on the vinyl. So, okay, I'll put this here. The smell of vinyl is so uh, vinyl sticker. So, let's just wait for it. I'm printing it now. Okay guys, so now it's already done printing, so okay here, as you can see, it's clear. Uh, right now we will test the uh, water test, okay, because it's pigment. I'll show it to you, like this, this is the alcohol, not the just normal water. As you can see, the color is not fading. Okay. So that's it guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope you subscribe on my channel for more videos, thank you.